Okay, so this is the cap. It's a two-inch cap from the rain barrel. So we're gonna drill through it, three quarters inch. And that should fit that three quarters uh, male pipe thread right there. It should just thread right through. And then we can put a nut on the back of that with a little sealant. Did that uh, thread right in? Did that feel like it was uh, yep. sealing up nice with those threads? It's perfect. Cool. Okay, so what we did is we took a three quarter inch brass faucet, drilled a hole in it. We got a stop nut on this side that we threaded on, and then we've got the nut on the other side, and this just happened to be some hardware we had laying around, so we're making do with what we got, and then we put some sealant on the thread first, and this goes on the water barrel, and we're in business. So, let's go outside and see if this works. This is just the two inch valve on the bottom of this thing. So when we built the pallet, we did do a cutout to just give us some more working room around this. And if you look right in there, you can see it's just a big open close shut off. Um, so we'll use that, but uh, we'll also uh, have these threads gooped up with plumber's putty and we'll have the, uh, the valve on the spigot as well. So if that leaks a little bit right there or anything, we don't have to worry about, but that's the two inch valve. Now the other thing about this location here is this is right by an existing downspout. So we've got all these feet of gutter right here on this side of the roof goes right down to where the container is going to be. And likewise, the other side of the roof on that far corner right over here, that's the end of the gutter. So if we just run a slanty downspout across here, we can have the entire other side of the roof uh, deposit its water here as well. Okay, so here's the top adapter that we built threaded on top and it's got that uh, nice aluminum gutter guard keep leaves out and the idea is water can come in but a little can still get out to kind of self-clean leaves and things like that. So we'll see what happens now. Okay, you want to try one more? No, I think... I'm going to strip the threads. Yeah, I think we're good but now we got both this valve and the shutoff. Let's see, the shutoff just clears that. So yep. Leave that open. And we've got enough room above the ground for the garden hose. Yeah. And everything else is downhill from here. Looks like it's time that we can uh, add a little water to play with it now.